Okay, if you really take this in, it could blow your fucking mind. I'm in a class called Compassionate Inquiry, a training by Gabor Mate. And he talks about the basic primary need of human beings. Obviously, it starts when we're a baby. Is attachment, quote. And attachment is the need to be cared for. And to eventually, as we grow up, care for other beings. And the primary indicator of attachment is connection. If authenticity is fully being our whole self, he said, it is in direct competition with attachment, with our desire for connection. If those two are ever competing, your authenticity and your subconscious cellular need to maintain connection We will choose connection every single time over authenticity. It's how we're biologically wired. And so basically we are pressing down, masking, people-pleasing, or rebelling. People-pleasing and rebelling are the same ways. They're protection mechanisms. Fuck! But disconnection is not bad. It's the opportunity for reconnection. And so a lot of being disconnected has been demonized. Disconnection can actually be an intentional choice within ourselves, although most of us are subconsciously disconnecting through various means of escaping and outsourcing discomfort, which is also not our authentic self. So how do we actually build capacity to be our authentic self and risk that disconnection from outside of us? Is we connect present. When I say connect, I don't just mean connect. I mean full on presence with all parts of ourselves, especially the parts that have been demonized or labeled as negative. In IFS, we call this welcome, all parts welcome. We recognize their benevolent intent and we start with calm, connected presence. No fixing, no healing, No overcoming. And we begin to build our ability to be connected with ourselves no matter what happens with the attachments outside of us. Mind-blowing. Life-changing. Takes practice. This is what I help my clients do. Who helps you?